Have you ever wanted to learn the best way of getting the sock in Dutchman's Graveyard's lake area? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everyone, Chipper here, and welcome to my first speedrun tutorial for Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best way to get the lake sock from the Dutchman's Graveyard level as well as multiple backups that can suit players of different skill levels. In order to be able to do this tutorial, however, you will need to know how to cruise boost, so if you haven't already, please go and check out Shift's Any% Percent Beginner tutorial video, where he dedicates an entire segment to breaking down the theory behind cruise boosting and how to perform them. Links will be in the description down below. Also, the strats I'm about to teach you are not console specific, so you can use any platform of your choice to be able to perform them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To start us off, I will be teaching you the fastest way to get the lake sock. This method begins as soon as you enter the Dutchman's graveyard level. As soon as you load up, get a cruise boost off the pole. Once you have your cruise boost, hop on top of the anchor to your right, ideally on the right hand side of it, then double jump off towards the floating stack of tikis, landing on top of them. After you do this, jump for the moving platform, ideally as it leans towards you. If it isn't, not to worry, you can still make it with a well spaced double jump spin and or slam. If you don't think you can reach it however, land on the ground just to the right of the moving platform and wait for the cycle. Just make sure you don't get sniped out by the chuck flying about in the area. Now you want to jump off the moving platform as it begins to lean towards the mast containing the sock. If you go too early, you won't make the jump. If you time it right however, then you should be able to make it with a double jump and a bounce slam on the edge of the pole. As you bounce slam, move to the left slightly, then jump to the right. If done so correctly, you now have the sock. Otherwise, you're most likely drowning in the goo, which is less than ideal. To get off the platform, simply double jump and slam towards the rocks on the platform, where you usually go to cruise missile to seal the tug spearing out goo. And that's pretty much it for how to do it in the fastest way possible. Now, let's talk about backups you could use to get that sock if you aren't able to do parts of the fastest method. For these backups, I'll be breaking it down into three parts. Cruise boost spot, the path to get to the sock, and what you do after you get the sock. Let's start off with backups for where the cruise boost. If, like myself, you find the pole to be rather challenging to get a cruise boost off, you can do so over at the chest adjacent to the anchor. Please note, however, that this chest can be a pain at times to get a cruise boost off, but at least by getting the cruise boost here quickly, you can still take the fastest route with minimal, almost zero penalty to time. Alternatively, you can cruise boost over by this piece of a ship, as you do in Shift's beginner route. Just make sure to jump around this bit here to avoid triggering a cutscene and angering the slick bot nearby. There is one main alternative route you can use to reach the sock, if you're finding it tricky to reach the mast or bounce slam up to the sock. To take this alternate route, Run past the chuck and go to the pillar to your right. Hit the button on it to shift it over next to the cliff face, then jump on top of the tiki's next to said pillar and bash up on top of it. Finally, simply double jump, spin and slam over to the sock. If for some reason you have difficulty reaching the rocks after getting the sock, simply jump over to the rocky pillars and traverse them to get into place. So before I wrap things up, I wish to provide my own personal recommendations on the best way to tackle this sock in speedruns. For any percent, I highly recommend that you choose a route that you're comfortable with and attempt getting the sock once only. If you fail the attempt, simply skip the sock and go for shipwreck sock when you go to the next area, given that shipwreck sock is not a necessary sock in your particular route. If it is, then either pick up another quick sock elsewhere in your run, or take the alternative route to reach the lake sock. I would assume this would also apply to those doing the NG Plus category, although don't quote me there as I don't really have any experience with the category. For the 100% category however, I do recommend trying the fastest route at least once every run and falling back to the backup methods if you do die. Well, that pretty much wraps things up for today. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you all, and if you do have any questions, feedback or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you do like my content, be sure to like and subscribe for more BFBB and other speedrunning content. Until next time everyone, I shall see you all soon.